Now we'll move on to discuss muscle tissue, including the three different types, skeletal, smooth, and cardiac muscle. The muscular system is made of the muscles, the central nervous system, and the peripheral nerves that control them. It provides structural rigidity and support, and it's organized into three types, skeletal, cardiac, and smooth muscle, which is controlled by the central nervous system via neuromuscular junctions. Skeletal muscle provides for human motion. Cardiac muscle pumps the heart. And smooth muscle provides organ function through muscular contraction. The first muscle type we'll discuss is skeletal muscle. The image on the left side of the screen shows the muscle under load, as in the extended arm with the weight in the hand, and the muscle contracted or shortened. Skeletal muscle is found attached to bones. It provides a force to allow movement of the body. It's striated with the striations perpendicular to the muscle fibers, and it's under voluntary control. Skeletal muscle has striations due to the many sarcomeres, which are the basic unit of contraction. Individual muscle myofibrils make up a muscle fiber. There are two types of muscle fibers, red, which are slow twitch, and white, which are fast twitch. Red, slow twitch fibers have more mitochondria and are associated with endurance, whereas white, fast twitch fibers have fewer mitochondria and are explosive. The second type of muscle we'll discuss is smooth muscle. Smooth muscle is found in the organs of the gastrointestinal tract, such as in the intestines. This is depicted in the image on the right side of the screen which is a cross-section of the digestive tract wall. The circular layer and longitudinal smooth muscle layers are contained in the muscularis externa. Smooth muscle provides the peristaltic movement that moves nutrients through the GI tract. Smooth muscle is non-striated, involuntary, and spindle-shaped. It's also present in the walls of blood vessels and plays a major role in blood pressure. Smooth muscle contains actin and myosin, although they're arranged differently and they're not in a sarcomere, such as in skeletal muscle. Smooth muscle hydrolyzes ATP and contracts by myosin and actin fibers sliding over each other. Cardiac muscle. This is the third type of muscle in the body and it's found only in the heart. It provides the force that moves blood throughout the body. Cardiac muscle is striated, involuntary, and has branched fibers. It also contains intercalated discs that support the synchronization of muscle contraction. Cardiac muscle has unique properties. The first is it can stimulate its own contraction without the required electrical impulse from the central nervous system. The second, it has special pacemaker cells in the sinoatrial node of the heart which spontaneously contract and send electrical impulses throughout the heart muscle. The third, the normally resting heart rate is between 70 and 80 beats per minute, and this is determined by pacemaker cells. The central nervous system doesn't directly create the impulse to contract the heart, however, it modulates it through the autonomic nervous system. 